Yeah, no, of course that was on purpose. Because that was the only reflection that I had ever looked at for, I don't know, 42 years. Always in a physical perspective, looking in the mirror, self-criticizing my weight, my hair. Some days I looked good, so I boosted up my vanity and my pride. And other days I just oh, rolled my eyes and thought, you are so disgusting. And that was 42 years of my life before I ever reflected on my soul and reflected on who I was as a person and how I was treating others on this planet. And that only came to light when I went to confession after 26 years. Now look, I was a confirmed Catholic, but when I say that, let me put in some quotes, air quotes here, because I didn't know anything about the faith. And, but yet when I went back and I wasn't even really looking for God, I just went to confession because it was announced on Easter in 2013, Divine Mercy Sunday, no less. And I went after 26 years with many, many, many mortal sins on my soul. And honestly, even ones that I didn't even know were mortal sins were on my soul. I filled out an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, both sides, baby. I was in there like, okay, here we go. And I had the most supernatural experience. I felt this peace and this love. I went in thinking I'm going to get, you know, the hammer and I'm just going to be completely judged and have this ridiculous penance to a feeling of, oh my gosh, I feel loved. I feel forgiven. I feel this God present in me. I, I had this warm waterfall of peace come over me. I could barely feel my body. And then I floated out of that church when I was done after the priest absolved me of my sins. Yeah, my feet were on the ground. I wasn't levitating. But when I got to my car, I turned around and I looked at that church and I said, what was that? What was that? I mean, trust me, I have taken a lot of drugs in my life and I could have taken them all at once and put them down with a shot of whiskey and still never, ever have experienced that, what I would almost call ecstasy, that peace, that love, that joy. And I said, there's something up with this Catholic faith. So this is Lent. We're supposed to be reflecting and learning and growing and becoming more holy and sanctifying ourselves through God's grace, through penance, through sacrifice, through suffering. But how much are you reflecting on your life, looking back on your day and saying, okay, where was I kind of judgmental? Where was I envious? Where did I honestly commit some major sin? Where did I fall? And where was God there? And I saw him in that person, in that reading, in my friend, on the, you know, video. Maybe it's this. I don't know. But where did I see God speak to me today? And every day we should be reflecting so that we can get better. We can learn, okay, why did I eat that cake? <laughs> what was it that made me eat that whole cake today instead of just savoring a slice? That's a silly example, but we all can control our bodies more. We can master ourselves instead of letting it master us. We can run from sin. We can fight temptations. This is a battle, people. It's a spiritual battle on this earth. And now with the coronavirus, I think so many people are freaking out. And I just ask, reflect. Reflect on where you are right now at this moment. Do you have mortal sins on your soul? Are you a fallen away Catholic like I was? That what, I wasn't even going to Christmas or Easter mass for like 20 something years. What do I need that for? I got this life, right? I'm an executive in corporate America. I got money. I got a great family. I don't need God until I found God. Actually, God found me. And then I went through that amazing confession. It changed my life. And I know for a fact that some people have had their lives change just as recently as this past weekend in the um, conference that I ended up being a part of. Sorry, something just came up on my screen. Um, and they came up to me and they said, you know what? I haven't been to confession in 30, one was 40, one was 50 years. 
and you inspired me to go. So that's why I'm putting this, this video together because who knows? The coronavirus is putting some wicked scary stuff out there and I'm totally at peace. I am going to Mass every Sunday. I'm actually going every day and receiving the Eucharist. I'm going to confession every week because I know the closer I get to God, the more aware I am about how unclean and unpure my heart is. While I might not be saying something, I might be feeling something like that envy or jealousy or judgment or you know, worrying about people and their rejection. So everyone's in a different spot in life. And if you're watching this and you're like, dang, I want some of that peace. I want some of that joy. I want some of that love of God. And you don't know how, just ask Jesus to come into your life. Jesus is God. Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. And he has transformed everything and the Catholic sacramental graces of the church. I'm telling you, I did all my research and I tried to debunk the faith. I didn't want to change. I don't want to live by all those rules. I agree with what society says. I don't want to be looked at as a bigot or a person who judges other people. But coming to the truth and freeing yourself from sin through reconciliation, and I'm telling you, it's a beautiful sacrament, and the Eucharist transforming you, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus, is life-changing. The truth will set you free. The truth is Jesus, and the freedom from sin is what that's all about. And so reflect on your life. See where you're at. See where your family is at. And get yourself to confession. Get yourself going back to Mass, even though you're not in it to win it, people, because that's what I was. For a long time, I just went because I was supposed to, right? I had no idea what I was doing there, no idea what the purpose was, but God led me step by step. And that's all I wanna ask for all of you is to do some reflection on your soul because it may not be the coronavirus, maybe something else catches you or you, you know, we don't know and not to put fear in you, but let's, let's be realistic. We don't have any guarantee that in another hour we're going to be standing on this planet. And then it's judgment day. So while you have the mercy of God right now available to you at your fingertips, look up the closest Catholic church and get into confession if you are a Catholic and one that has fallen away or ran to another faith. Go back to reconciliation. I'm telling you, you're your entire life is going to change. Trust, trust God on this one. You can look at me. I'm just sharing my experience. This is why I left my executive career to start this ministry to help everybody else realize, oh my gosh, there's a better way to live. No fear, no worry, and keep praying. I know there's not everyone in the world that has their family members and spouses and sons, daughters, cousins, aunts, uncles, parents that are practicing, just keep praying, sacrifice, and do penance. You need those extra additions. Praying ain't going to cut it. All right, everyone, reflect, and not just in this. <laughs> reflect in your soul, and have a blessed and inspired day. Take care.